wrist fix here, so I constantly get asked what's well, this came right in the nick of time. Sweet. What is going on guys? Good morning. So we are back uh, today. We're doing something actually really darn cool. We are working on a car that is well above my uh, tax bracketry, but it's going to be sick. So Alex, as you guys know, my shop mate, the wheel Jesus on Instagram. Uh, he just knows a whole different group of people than I do. And again, why I regret staying with the Honda stuff so long, because I feel like I missed out on meeting people like this sooner. Um, but we're working on this absolutely beautiful, uh, what, 993 Porsche? Yeah, so this is a 993 Carrera. Um, and it's a non-turbo car, narrow body, but gorgeous nonetheless. So <laughs> we love any and all kinds of cars here. We don't really discriminate. And certainly we don't want to discriminate on something like this either when there's an opportunity to do a, yeah. a fun little install. So this guy had a set of KW coilovers. Uh, so he wants to put on his BBS E88s and uh, get these KWs installed. And uh, these are cool because these have the, uh, the elephant racing uh, camber plates on them already. And uh, they're pretty much just ready to bolt on. So we'll be throwing these on and this car is gonna get a little bit of an altitude adjustment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know this thing is just gorgeous though. So yeah, uh, we don't really have much of a time limit and it doesn't sound like the guy's in much of a, you know, a fickle about budget. He just wants the car safe and wants it done right. So best customer to have. Um, so we're just gonna take our time with it. Already trying to look at getting this thing racked up. It's a little funky, you know, European car things and uh, old European car things with that on modern lifts where the, the leg differences are quite different. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get this thing racked up and we're gonna have some fun with it. This has been, I mean, the front bumper's definitely been painted. The hood's been painted. There's, you can see like a couple pinholes, a little small yeah. things in it. And then it has kind of a weirdness right here. It looks like this was, somebody tried to sand this out and smooth it. Um, a little bit there's like a couple deep scratches in it yeah for a low mileage car um i'm kind of surprised on this couple couple things you can see the little tape line in here too where they like masked off oh on the, yeah on the edge of that oh yeah the hard edge right there see if the camera will pick that up yeah so it's perfectly imperfect and that's what i love like it's not you know, like, it is a low mileage car and it's in, like, very good condition, but it's also one that, like, can actually be enjoyed because there's nothing worse than not being able to actually enjoy these cars and, and drive them like God intended. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's why this dude's the best and the worst guy to have a car thing with because, like, looking at little things like this where the owner, you know, may come back later and be like, oh, you guys put this little thing here. It's like, he's an old insurance adjuster, so he knows how to, what to look for, all the little details, but it's also the worst kind of guy to try and sell a car to, because he knows exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, he knows exactly what to look for. Like that tape line, I would have never noticed that. Like all these little details, but. There's a little, you see this little bubbly here? Oh yeah. And then there's a little bit on this quarter panel over here. Yeah. This has been, there's been some, yeah, it's kind of hard to pick the. Oh, yeah, you can see it in the right light on the camera. Yeah. So. And then there's like this right here in this area. Oh, yeah. It's really hard to see on the on the video, but in person you can definitely see the little imperfections. But just good to, you know, do a quick little once around. It's always nice to, you know, I'm not trying to nitpick a car, but then again, though, like, well, yeah, and for us, it's what saves us in the long run if something looks out of place after, because on a $120,000 car, yep. you know, little guys, you know, get the brunt of it, so. I don't want to be buying a 993. <laughs> I mean, I do, just not because. I mean, not because of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not a bad situation, and I'm forced <laughs> to buy it. <laughs> yeah, so, well, shoot, other than that, Oh, we also got these really fancy uh, BBSs that the guy bought. So Alex did the tires already, and the guy got the front ones put on, but the rear is a bit of an aggressive fitment, so that's part of the reason that they're still off the car. Got to figure it out once the coilovers are on and adjusted, but it's going to look so sick. Like this Arctic, what, Arctic silver? Is that what it's called? I think this one is uh, polar silver, if I'm not mistaken. I don't, I don't know, though. I might be... It, 
bleep bloop it in the comments <laughs> if, I, if I'm wrong, but I think this is a polar silver car. I'd have to look at the um, the paint code on it to see, but I think yeah. so, because it's got the blue hue to it, but either yeah. way, it's gorgeous regardless of what silver that it is. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's gonna look super clean with these like gold wheels on it. So anyway, enough rambling, let's get started. and it's hot. Let there be air. Hell yes. Backed up. Let's hope for no crunches as we go up. But just tap it up, all right? Yeah. Looking good? Yeah, we can get so far. No crunchies. Be solid. Want to start with the fronts or the rears? Uh, let's start with the fronts. So let the engine cool down a little bit first. Big old boys. Oh, is, is this already on coilovers? Yeah, it's got like, I guess this is the Coney's. I was gonna say they look like max speeding rods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it, I guess it does. And it's all the way lowered, which is weird. This was the side that was lower than the driver's side. So I'll be curious to see what the, what the driver's side is at. Maybe it's like, half an inch like up on the threads maybe. Yeah, and you said the brake line runs through these guys? Yeah. Or, does it? Oh, it runs through this tab or? Yeah, there's just the tab. So you just have to separate it there and. That's so dumb. Yeah. They couldn't just make it a like a, a clamping point like a Honda or like a Nissan where it just bolts with an M12 or an M10 or whatever? That would just be too easy. That wouldn't be very German of them. loose good to go now loosen the feet on this side the stressful part because the plastic is all aged and brittle right just gotta have them steady surgeon hands <laughs> yeah <laughs> like even this thing like look at look at how this little plastic piece is already kind of like just falling apart the minute you go to try to bring this out of the fucking clip that it's been in for 30 years. Just love it. 
Love it. <laughs> Look at that. So that's obviously gonna get squished back in there when uh, it all goes back together. <laughs> that's lovely. So I don't know if you guys saw uh, on this guy, they do it kind of weird and they run the brake line through the tab on the side of the shock body or the coilover body. Um, don't ask me why. I'm not German, I don't understand these things. So we do have to bleed the brakes when we're done with this, but that's okay. Thankfully, these things are, you know, obviously European and I happen to have a speedy bleeder kit with a European uh, adapter. I'm trying to find the reservoir, but I don't know. It's probably under all the carpet. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Yeah, I'll have to grab a thing for the back. That's a tight little fit up in there, that's for sure. Yeah, I think I think the back side's a 17, maybe? Yeah, that's what I grabbed. Okay. Yeah, flying wrenches. Or flare nuts or whatever. There we go. Okay. Nice. They always scare me. <laughs> I know, it's a it's a little bit of a tight butthole moment. Yeah, I know um, that shock factor is what breaks them free, but it never gets not scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really can't believe, like, this was intentionally designed this way. Yeah, it is kind of a strange, like, they, like, they could the have just... It still has the E-clip that holds the assembly in there. Right. <laughs> Germans will be Germans. I mean, like, that's yeah. definitely a yeah. thing. But I guess they just couldn't leave good enough alone. They had to oversimplify at least one thing <laughs> on the car. Otherwise it wouldn't be, you know, a German. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell I, yeah. I didn't show you oh. guys, but they uh they put two different size style bolts from factory. So they got the big Allen head one, and then they got the hex head one down here. So, I'll show you some, just for no reason, just to be Germans. And that is truly factory. Yeah. That, that is not yeah. some other mechanic's mistake. That is yeah. just how it is on these cars. <laughs> There she is, folks. Fresh, used, newborn strut. <laughs> yeah, so we just gotta transfer over the little plastic clips for them, like yep. the little uh, hard thing, and yeah. Yeah, just that one in this case, yeah. And then this one, I mean, they are left and right dependent, so this one is the the other. Oh, see, right so this side. one doesn't require it, though. Yeah, it just slides in there nice. Yeah, it doesn't have a fucking notch like the stock ones yeah. yeah kw's thinking yeah they should have done that on all the other ones because there's no way that's stock right yeah. no because that's a coilover oh, yeah yeah it is one of the conies yeah yeah so, yeah um technically <laughs> yeah so not so good design a little bit thinking with their noodle thinking with one. their noodle <laughs> yeah hell yeah well <laughs> onward and wayward Sick. make myself useful and i'll feed the nuts on it Okay. Doing a little fishing because I dropped one of the nuts in the uh, front butt. <laughs> front butt. <laughs> How'd oh. you get? Oh, you didn't find it yet. It was this back left one, so it had to have fallen and like rolled back there. But I don't know. Loose hardware has a mind of its own, so it could be in like another dimension. <laughs> yes. Nope. <laughs> I would have thought it would have fallen right in this little perfect thing right there, but I guess not. Found the nut. <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> all right, first side, well, first corner, all done. On to the next. Oh, this one. Actually, we should take a pic of this. 
because it didn't even have the fucking clip in this side for the brake line. Oh, the E-clip? Yeah, didn't even have one. So, I'm gonna take a pic of that. Yeah. Just, just to document that that wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> so, whoever was in here last doing the brake lines, they left us a nice little surprise of a uh, stripped fitting on the brake line. So, uh, Alex called Porsche, and everything, of course, is special order, because why not? So, we kind of had to manhandle it using some vice grips, and it's off, and the coilover is coming out. But, yeah. Doesn't matter the dollar amount. Cars are all shit boxes, one way or the other. <laughs> Two thousand or one hundred twenty thousand dollars worth, right? Different day, same shit. <laughs> same shit, different toilet. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like I mentioned, the guy that owns this car. Uh, well, I don't know if I mentioned it. He, he's the coffee guy. License plate says so. But he runs a coffee business out here that's actually sold in stores and stuff. Like, kind of a big deal from what I understand. And he uh, dropped us off a couple cans of coffee. I've never had it before. First time meeting those gentlemen. So uh, I'm gonna give it an honest one through 10 right now. Cause Alex is struggling to put a plastic clip in. So we'll, uh, <laughs> well, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna drop you guys. We'll set you right here. So let's see what happens. All right, so uh, what is it called? Coffee garage, brewed in Arizona. Oh, Shift Caffeine, that's what it is. So if you wanna give them a follow, if you're Arizona local, it's Shift Caffeine on Instagram. What's his name? John? John. Yeah. John. So John with Shift Caffeine. So appreciate you for the coffee, John. Uh, is this, do you have to shake this first or no? Yeah, give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. The logo is sick. Like, that's a dope looking can. Oh, this one's driving me coconut. So this is coconut and vanilla, both of which I like. So this should be pretty cool. Oh. All right. Smells very coconut. Wow, smells heavy coconut. That's not bad. It's very, I don't know, flat. It's not like, I don't know. It's not very sweet. So if you're looking for a super sugary, like, you know, Starbucks white girl coffee, may not be the one, at least not the this one, but it is good. It's a little, a little coconutty, but it's good. But, okay, all right, well, coffee's pretty solid. I say like seven and a half, just because coconut's a little whelming for me, despite liking it, but whatever. It, it, it's not bad. So, uh, fronts are good. Just gotta wait for the dealership to email us back about the other clip, but onto the rear. Okay, we took a 50-50 gamble, and uh, I came out the winning man on this one. So, the top hats, um, they have to have the camber adjustments facing forward, these guys. And uh, we did that one with them in the back. So this one went in really easy, this one didn't, so we were just about to torque everything down. I torqued these ones down. Uh, 24 foot pounds on these guys, and what, 57 on the top nut? Uh, 59. 59 the center. Yep. on the top. So yeah, that's all torqued down other than the top nut. And now this one's corrected, so we're good. Perfect. Okay. What about the no. bottom guy? Okay, well, going off the other guy's video, top was 88. Yep. And the uh, bottom is 147, so. <laughs> I don't know how you get that, but I mean, the bolts are different sizes for sure, but. Yeah. Mm. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a damn lot for just a control arm bolt, or a shock bolt. Right there. Uh, I'm Deep socket, dang that. <laughs> Bonita. Okay, didn't feel too sketchy. <laughs> Perfecto. Front's all done. The rears do look a little bit easier, except the top uh, portion where the strut bolts to the body. Because we got to get way back in there. There we go. Oh, you already got it? You need some long giraffe arms to get in here. Not enough 
There's still not enough space though. <laughs> well, we have electric ratchets. I'll just get them uh, <laughs> loosened. We'll get them, you know, started and then yeah, so I can quit doing the fucking millimeter turn with this good old Stanley ratchet. <laughs> Also found a few little gremlins for the guy, like some torn axle boots, ball joint oozing. So taking photos of everything, you know, trying to be helpful, let the guy know. Maybe get some more work out of it later on. <laughs> so oh because of, yeah, God. yeah, see? Wow, that's a fancy Stanley. That's a TikTok special. <laughs> I found a tour review guy that had this and I was like, I've only had to use it like twice, but it works good. This is a perfect solution for this. I bet you this is cheaper than a fucking snap-on screwdriver. It was like 43 bucks on Home Depot's website. Oh yeah. Yeah, so. On a snap-on truck, you'd be buying a car. <laughs> <laughs> so this kind there. of uh, see if that convenience. See if that works out before we try to fit the electric back there. All right, let's see it. Let's see if the camera can uh, get these front bolts. So look at that, they're fucking fitting it on there. <laughs> So far back there. Ooh, it's not working. Oh, now it's working. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Game changer? That's a game changer. Man, I didn't know Stanley made uh, <laughs> fancy tools like this. You have to order it online. <laughs> they don't sell it in store. Uh, wow. That, that was, was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Well. Sweet. That was, yeah, that was good. I'm glad. <laughs> Coilover's gonna come out in just a sec here. Uh, I should probably, I don't know, because the coilover itself is just gonna fall. Why is it that long? <laughs> because. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Is it gonna is it gonna have enough room to turn? Mm, I don't think so. It I might actually have to. Might well, have to unbolt that inner. <laughs> huh? Nice. One lower control arm out and. Perfect. There we go, that wasn't bad. Got lucky on the sway bar end link and it didn't give me any trouble. So, sweet. Yeah, if we just get uh, like one or two of the nuts started at the top and then... Yeah, because I feel like trying to mount this perch and then move that all up, it's gonna fall out of the holes up here. And it, since you can't reach your hand up there because it's all like reinforced and stuff, it's like up in there. So, yeah, not a big deal. We'll just lower the car down. I'll just lay down and have you reach in the back, so. That sounds good. Gotta say, it's a lot more fun working on a Porsche than a Honda. For example, we were just talking about this off camera. <laughs> like, not that Hondas are bad. Again, obviously I come from them, but like, like we're finding a bunch of little things wrong with this car. When you pay this much for it, obviously you want things to be as pristine as you can. And it's like, it's nice being able to poke and prod and feel appreciated for going the extra mile on finding issues. and. Uh, correcting them instead of like say a Kia or a you know a Ford low-end Ford or like a Honda where they're just like oh bro I didn't ask you to do all that how much is that gonna cost me so it's it's really cool so I know the guy is super appreciative and I'm having fun learning how to do poor stuff so I'm stoked ran into another few small issues uh, eccentric hardware is stripped so we had to order that parts won't be until Monday so we can try and put this together uh, a decent a bit uh, but yeah, we can't finish it, at least in this video. So that's fine. I mean, it's not like we're doing that anyway. I'm trying to turn your brightness down a little bit. There we go. Getting used to this camera still. Uh, yeah, so gas station brake really quick. Get some energy drinks. And we got to bleed the brake still. And then we got to put the driver's side back together and then just wait for the bolt for the passenger side. And some clips for the under tray. It's missing a lot of little odds and ends, but it's all small stuff. But, you know, paying, some, paying this much for something, you'd hope most of it's there. But. Okay, so we pretty much reached the standstill for the day. Uh, I got the entire driver's side put together, just hand tight, so I don't forget to tighten it back up once we get the, you know, the hardware for this side. Alex is going in right now, and he's knocking out the top strut bolts, the, you know, the hard to reach ones. But unfortunately, that kind of wraps up our, you know, our shenanigans for the day on this uh, 99, 993, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to embarrass myself. On this 993, 
So, I don't know. I'm still in love with the car. I want to drive oh, it so you're bad. You're a smad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure 90% of the people watching this are, you know, <laughs> my Honda people anyway. So they probably don't even care. They're just like, show us the, show us the Integra, bro. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to just end this video off here. It's been fun. Got to play with my new camera. And, um... Yeah, we got to mess with a pretty sick-ass Porsche. So hopefully, I, I don't know, this will be gone by the time in the next video. I'm not going to bother filming the last, you know, two bolt installs. But uh, if you want to help support the channel, by all means, I have, you know, a P.O. Box. If you want to send me stuff, I got merch on the uh, website, velocityrafeshub.com. If you're local, you want some stuff done, you want fab work done, hit me up in the email or Messenger or Instagram. And uh, if you need wheels and tire stuff done, hit up Alex back here. Yeah, that guy. And uh, he'll get you taken care of. So do what you love, forget about the rest, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.